This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Someone recently asked me about the pop culture museum in my man cave, and when I pointed him to an old episode of the show, I realized that was 10 years ago. So, here's an updated version. Let's start with The Simpsons. Playmates World of Springfield was released from 2000 to 2004. Over 200 figures tied into a group of over 40 sets with chips in each that would provide voice clips when you plug them in via their feet. The same figure might have a different clip depending on the set you used. There were 16 waves along with retailer and mail-in exclusives through Toy Fair magazine. The largest set was Springfield Town Square, and the most rare is the -the glow-in-the-dark Homer. I stupidly chose to skip the mail-in offer for that one. A friend gave me one as a gift a few years ago, which completed my set. Of course, I have other Simpsons memorabilia as well. For example, Burger King had kids meals with small Simpsons toys for a few years. Bought a lot of burgers then. I also collected the DVD sets until Fox stopped making them. The Simpsons lead us to Futurama. There's been multiple action figure series over the years. I use the robot Santa and Bender for one of my Christmas tree toppers. On to Mindy's Pez collection. There are some early items as well as specialty accessories and super size Pez. I found a set of risers online that prevent them from falling over all the time. There's a group of mint in box Pez, as well as box sets.
Star Trek Pez lead us into the Trek collection, minus boxes of paperbacks. I bought a lot of action figures in the 90s and early 2000s when places like KB Toys and Toys R Us were going under. There's also my Taco Bell Star Trek 3 glasses. My penchant for Trek led to a lot of gifts. On to DC Comics. I've been collecting comics since I was a kid, so when DC started their own action figure line, I was hooked. I've taken many of the figures out of the box, gasp, to display them. The Legion of Super Pets. The Marvel, sorry, Shazam family. Characters from the Silver Age. The Birds of Prey. Kingdom Come. Justice League of America versus the Crime Syndicate. Mego Recreations.
If you watch this show regularly, and if you're here, I assume you do, you know I'm a huge fan of MST3K. Here's a view of that collection. Then there's miscellaneous. I got into purchasing figures of failed media projects as they went for cheap. The closing of major toy store chains also helped. my TV guide collection. I have fall preview issues going back to the late 70s until they became an Entertainment Weekly clone, which ironically ceased as a physical publication last year. My tech collection, largely based on my late father-in-law's stuff. He was going to throw it out, but I couldn't let that happen. Finally, there's our recent Funko Pops, most of which were gifts. There's a whole industry that's grown up around these. That's it. Please visit the gift shop on the way out.